Army vet Colin Wayne almost lost his life while serving his third tour of duty in Afghanistan. But thanks to rehab, he rebuilt his shattered body and forged a successful steel company. While COVID-19 has left some companies paralyzed and closed countless doors, one small American-based company has continued to provide work and financial relief to its workers. I've got not only my 70 plus employees, but their family that relies on this to be successful. Redline Steel was founded in 2016 by Army veteran Colin Wayne. It's quickly become one of the most successful steel manufacturers in the world. But Redline almost didn't happen. Eight years ago, while serving in Afghanistan, Wayne nearly lost his life when a 107 millimeter rocket struck within feet of him, causing multiple injuries. I sustained shrapnel that went all the way through my leg. Um, I had permanent uh, nerve damage in my back, L1 through L3. It transitioned to a lumbar block fusion surgery. Wayne survived the attack, but it was a long road to recovery. I did six months of physical therapy when I got stateside uh, for my leg and then had to have back surgery. And I was also treated for TBI, traumatic brain injury from the concussion of the blast. During his rehabilitation, Colin says he leaned on his biggest support system, the gym. So this is the irony. I got blown up in a gym on my base that should have been a lot safer. Um, but the gym, like it transitioned and pivoted my entire moment of like life in general, where I used that as a mental escape. When his service ended, Wayne returned home. Like most military veterans, he questioned his next move. He found himself in an unlikely career, fitness modeling. I shot with a local photographer in a very, very small town. I uploaded and I started a fan page. And within the first six months, we accumulated over a million followers. From there, where I landed over 50 plus magazine covers like Men's Fitness, Muscle and Fitness, Iron Man. But Colin was an entrepreneur at heart, so he left modeling behind to pursue another career. Redline Steel is a company that I founded four years ago. And since then, we've actually scaled to the largest uh, customized steel manufacturing wall art in the nation. Uh, we've shipped over 4 million products. Uh, we just hit our 1 millionth customer a few weeks ago. But when the coronavirus hit America, everything changed and production stopped. My type of products, they're a commodity based. People aren't thinking about, oh, I need this steel monogram to go on my front door during these times. Colin was forced to pivot his entire business plan. We created a collection called the Give Back Collection and it's been incredible. There's 19 products within our give back collection. And so, but it started with just one and it started to grow from there. As a humanitarian, he's donated over $3 million to first responders and medical professionals, but he wanted to help his community too. So he turned to social media. I did a local post and I said, look, if you're a server, if you're impacted by this, you, you're, you're having challenges with getting unemployment. Maybe you're a business owner and PPP program hasn't came through. Let me be a value to you. Come here, even if it's for a few weeks, I'll find a spot for you. It worked. He hired 36 new employees, but Wayne didn't stop there with his generosity. For the month of April, he paid the rent and mortgage bill of every single employee in his company. I also let all of the uh, employees on salary and on hourly know that you will still have a paycheck regardless. And on top of that, the guys that are accustomed to getting um, substantial amounts of overtime, let's say 10 hours plus, all of those will also be getting a raise to offset that overtime uh, overage. Colin's philosophy is simple. This is going to pass just like everything else. I've been through so many different pivots and pitfalls that it's it's almost a chapter in itself. But what you have to do is like, I guess, trust the process and like, you know, not be afraid to continue to move forward.